Hello everybody, this is String and we're back to kick off the semi-final round for the Lightning, Lightning Assault, Assault Tournament. Tournament. We're getting to the end game now, aren't we? So we have three matches in this video, starting off with Ceratops going up against the Alpha Chasmosaurus, Alpha Ainiosaurus taking on Storacosaurus, and then Centrosaurus going up against Pachyrhinosaurus. Hope you're stoked for that, and without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup. Ooh, we're in a volcanic field! In the red corner, we have the Orhinoceratops. Orhinoceratops defeated Maximus in the quarterfinal rounds in a very, very, very tight contest. Couldn't have been tighter. I mean, there was a draw in that match as well. That's how tight it was. However, in the blue corner, we have the Alpha Chasmosaurus, who has looked very convincing so far, and I believe has not has yet to be defeated. Well, when I say yet to be defeated, I mean it hasn't lost a round. It's won all its matches 2-0. But I think the Orhinoceratops is going to test it. <laughs> this will be this. It'll de yeah, definitely if it's toughest test so far. Oop, we start with Ty. Neither of our guys got Plasma Anchor, so Ty's don't really help anybody. Ooh, the Chasmosaurus gets the opening crit. Chasmosaurus, well, both of these two are very, very balanced dinosaurs, so crits aren't going to make that much of a difference. Ooh, but it's the Chasmosaurus starting strong, picking up where he left off in the quarterfinal round. And looks set to win this first round. And yep, there it is. Wow. Oh, oh, no, 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 not done yet. A Rhinoceratops clinging on. Oh, oh wow, a bit, a bit of lag there. That's not good. But we got a banana surprise. And that is very good for the Chasmosaurus as the Rhinoceratops bites a big one. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Easy street for the Alpha Chasmo so far. Could he be the first Alpha Dinosaur to win a tournament? Let's move on to round two. Well, will the Rhinoceratops actually put up the fight this time? Or can the Alpha Chasmosaurus continue its dominance? Well, it is an Alpha Chasmosaurus. Get it? <laughs> well, it's actually doing really well in this tournament. But do not count the Rhinoceratops out yet. Just needs that. Just needs to equalize here to get himself back in this contest. Well, forget equalizing. He can't even land a hit. Tight. Nope, Chasmosaurus gets the first hit. Because of course it gets the first hit. I have a feeling the Rhinoceratops ain't gonna get a hit in this match. Oh, hey, finally he gets a hit! On the, well, umpteenth attempt of our skin, a Rhinoceratops finally lands a blow, and it's a critical one. Got some defense burst attack boost action going there. Can a Rhinoceratops get back in this contest? Indeed he can, and with the attack boost, this is probably going to be lethal. Or not. I overestimated the attack boost there. Well, this electric charge won't do anything really, because one hit on the Chasmo and is dead. Ooh, the Chasmo... Oh, oh, what have we got here? We got a bit of pudding! Chasmosaurus not out of it yet. That could be a critical moment in this match. Oh. I think I picked the wrong move. I was supposed to pick the move that's compatible with the lightning dinosaurs. And if you, if you are curious as to which food move cards are compatible with which dinosaur, I do have a video of that. So you can check that out. And well, based on that, I need to check that video out. <laughs> well, it does in fact make an impact. Wow, defense boost there. Saving a Rhinoceratops from certain defeat. Ooh, is this a tie? Oh, it's ending in a tie. Well, well, well. A Rhinoceratops clinging on me 
to stay alive in this tournament. Well, I didn't I didn't anticipate another tie. Kazmasaurus still has the edge, though. He still has the edge, you know, because all it needs to do is win or tie in this next round, and he will go through. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Could that give the Kazmasaurus terrain advantage? Do, 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 do. Well, this is going to be an interesting round three. If a Rhinoceratops can snag that win, he will stay alive in this contest and will go on to a deciding round. But if Chasmosaurus can get a draw or a win, then it's game over for a Rhinoceratops. But yes, Chasmosaurus is definitely pushed in that last round. And I'd probably say would have won last round if I picked the right food card. <laughs> I needed the, the, the spaghetti, I needed the spaghetti one. I picked the right button instead. Well, terrain advantage coming through here. Chasmosaurus in the lead. Ooh, not anymore. A Rhinoceratops gets a big crit. Can he turn this around? Defense Burst coming in. We saw how useful Defense Burst was. Ooh, Electric Charge and Attack Boost stacking itself up with power there. That should mean that Arinoceratops is one hit away from equalizing. Ooh, but can he get that hit? We haven't, had, we haven't seen a single counter blitz yet. Oh, is that it? Has Arinoceratops pulled his way back in this? The answer to that is yes. Despite being in the Alpha Arena, the Alpha Chasmosaurus falls to defeat for the first time in this tournament. And a Rhinoceratops evens the score. Well, you know what that means. Move on to the deciding round. Oh, we're back outside again in the open field where these two most have likely lived. Well, except for the Alpha Chasmosaurus, which probably lived in um, an Alpha Gang enclosure. You know, because it's an Alpha Dinosaur. Can Alpha Chasmosaurus take back this momentum that the Orhinoceratops seems to have? Well, so far, no. Ooh, ooh, that's a promising start from Orhinoceratops. That electric charge and attack boost combo caused Maximus all sorts of problems in the quarterfinal. Ooh, but the Chasmosaurus responds with a banana surprise. Wee boosh. Good hit there, good hit there. Takes the slight lead. Oh, oh, surprise, surprise. Because it's another banana surprise. Wee boosh. One hit will do it for the Chasmosaurus. A Rhinoceratops. Can he, can he fight back again? Shown some really good resilience in this match. Just to stay alive in this contest. He does get a crit. And it is going to do damage. Defense boost here. Not sure if that's going to help at this point. Okay, maybe it will actually. Maybe it can tank another hit. And still no counter blitz. Really surprised. Oh, is it oh, please don't end in a tie. Please. Oh, that's alright. <laughs> Chasmosaurus gets the job done in the end. A Rhinoceratops showed so much promise, so much resilience and endeavor, but in the end, it just came up short against this Chasmosaurus. Who, in fact, I think is the first alpha dinosaur to ever make it to a final. Well, speaking of alpha dinosaurs, we got another alpha dinosaur in the next matchup, which is Alpha Ineosaurus taking a crack at the tournament favourite, Styracosaurus. Right, the old then, in the red corner, we have the Alpha Ineosaurus, the dinosaur that says no to counter blitz. Well,. Alpha Ineosaurus, could it go all the way? It's going to be difficult. It is going to be difficult. But I will say it has a moveset kind of equipped to deal with 
the move set that this Stracosaurus has. Anyway, in the blue corner, we have, well, as I just said, Stracosaurus, the tournament favourite. It's going to be very tough for the Ainiosaurus to get past. But, as I said, the Ainiosaurus does have moves that kind of ignore the defensive resilience that the Stracosaurus has. So, you never know. It could be a bogey dinosaur for Stracosaurus. Or it could just sweep and win 2 now. Ooh, good start from the Alpha Ainiosaurus. Can he do it? Can he pull it off? But yeah, look at the damage. Minuscule amount of damage. However, this is going to do more damage. It's Alpha Dart time. What's that time? What's that time? It's Alpha Dart time. Wait, is this... Wait, is this going to kill it? Well, Alpha Ainiosaurus off to a blinding start. Couldn't have asked for a better start. Ooh, but the Storacosaurus finally responds with his first hit of the match. And a light recovery to come as well. Along with defense boost. And yeah, look at that. Look at that. Damage. Alpha Ainiosaurus, a true glass cannon. Oop, there's a tie. Probably favor the Ainiosaurus more, though. Ooh, the Storacosaurus coming back into it. After a strong start from the Ainiosaurus. Oh, wow, I did loads of damage. I forget, this dude is a lot more balanced than the Ainiosaurus is. Oh, it's a tie. One tie will do it for Storacosaurus. Ooh, but has Ainiosaurus won this first round? Oh, is this lethal? I might be lethal. Yeah, only just though. I tell you what, if I was a two or a one, Stratosaurus would have survived. But Alpha Ainiosaurus pulling off the first round win. Well, could we be on course for an upset? Let's find out. Right, round two. Can the Alpha Ainiosaurus do this? Or will Storacosaurus fight back? Well, as I said, the Alpha Ainiosaurus got the moveset to do it. Ooh, we start with a tie. Another tie. Storacosaurus, yep, they are going in this match so far. But we saw in the first round, it was unconvincing in the first round. And it pulled through, and it's probably going to have to do the same again. But that is not the start that you would want. And a lightning axe to come. Wait, is Ainiosaurus going to do it? Ooh, look at this from Ainiosaurus. One hit away from knocking out the tournament favourite. Okay, that's a tie. Stracosaurus needs to get going. So he needs to get something on the board quick. And he does. That light recovery, how crucial could this hit be? Is that a turning point? Ooh, this, is, this, is what it, this is what it's all about. Magical tournament match so far. Oh, it's a tie. Can Storacosaurus save himself? Oh, is that it? Oh, look at that. Storacosaurus on the brink of defeat. Somehow has saved himself. Oh. <laughs> Well, how crucial could that hit be? Is that the turning point? So you know what that means. It all comes down to this next round. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Will that give the Ainiosaurus the edge? Or can Storacosaurus find some form in this match? I tell you what, again, Stratosaurus has only got three hits in this entire match, but they've all been crits. 
And that's it. How crucial was that first, second crit, I should say. Ooh, it's an alpha dart. Not the start Ceratosaurus would want, but you never know, he might land on a stuffed toy and he'll get away with it. Oh, that's not good. I mean, it's not the worst case scenario, but it's not the best. Ooh. However, Starachosaurus does get off a lightning spear. Boosh. And the light recovery and defense boost to come. Can Starachosaurus finally turn the screw on this match? Wow, look at that. Loads of damage done. Oh, oh, no, no, don't do this, random number generator. Okay, apparently he was just taking his sweet ass time. Ooh, it's a tie. But Starachosaurus does have the momentum here. Oh, maybe not. This could be lethal if it lands on the Dinoman statue. This could be lethal. If he gets Lightning Axe off as well. Okay, it's the ball. Which is not amazing, but... Oh, he, oh, he didn't get Lightning Axe off anyway. Oh, it's a tie. Can I need Saurus to it? Oh, it's another tie. Oh, he's got the hook. Is this lethal? I don't think it will be because of defense boost. Oh, he's got Lightning Axe. Oh, he's got Lightning Axe. Alpha Ineosaurus just does not care. It just does not care about anything in this game. Counter Blitz, he don't care. Dino Illusion, he don't care. Defense Boost, he just does not care about any moves in this game. Alpha Ineosaurus, pulling off the shock of the tournament, knocking out the Storacosaurus and advancing to the final. Put a comment down below for my boy, Alpha Ineosaurus. Right. On to the final match of the semi-final round and the final match of this session, which is Centrosaurus going up against Pachyrhinosaurus. Right then, in the red corner, we got the red lightning dinosaur, the Centrosaurus. The one remaining Centrosaurid in this tournament defeated the Monoclonius in round in the quarterfinal round, quite convincingly. But it's going to be a much tougher task here because in the blue corner we got the blue lightning dinosaur, the Pachyrhinosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurus demolished Chomp in the quarterfinal round to, get, to book his place here. And with Styracosaurus out, arguably the tournament favourite. Well, it and, it and Chasmosaurus are probably the favourites. But. I would diss my boy Alpha Ineosaurus. He might win this tournament. He's in it to win it. Ooh, good start from the Pachyrhinosaurus there. And it is heroic type, so its scissors move will be much stronger than normal. So Net Crusher will still do an arsenal of damage, it just won't do as much damage as it did to Chomp. Good tie. Well, Centrosaurus has had relatively f easier matchups in this tournament compared to the Pachyrhinosaurus, so I feel like Pachyrhinosaurus is going to win this match. Oh, wow, yeah, you can see the difference here. Heroic, heroic type can be really OP. Especially if it's on your super powered crit. Well, quick as, quick as lightning, Pachyrhinosaurus dispatches the Centrosaurus and takes a 1 0 lead. Yeah, you could see already, you could see already the golfing quality of opposition now, compared to what Centrosaurus faced in the first two rounds, compared to what he's facing now. You could definitely see a golf. He can still turn this around as we move on to round two. Oh, we're back here again. Can Centrosaurus level things up, or will the Pachyrhinosaurus prove too strong? Well, Centrosaurus probably needs to get the first hit here. Doesn't want Pachyrhinosaurus getting into a lead again like it did last time. 
Oh, oh we got our young gear dive. Packy Rhinosaur is getting the first hit there, but not the worst case scenario. Okay, the, the Anyang Guerra dive did make up for it a bit. Hey, the Centrosaurus finally gets a hit on the board. Elemental power, which could help, you know, tank that rock move a bit better. Ooh, Centrosaurus coming back into this. Dromeo rush to come, maxing up the elemental power and getting back in this contest. Slippy, slippy, slap, slap. Oh, there is a net crusher. An onion gear dive to come as well. Is this it for Centrosaurus? Well, a lightning axe will finish the job. Oh, he doesn't get it off. But look at that from Packy Rhinosaurus. On the brink of a... Of appearing in the final. Oh, not done yet, not done yet. Centrosaurus still chipping away and have left it all to play for. Well, it all comes down to this, doesn't it? Yeah, there it is. Packy Rhinosaurus, quite convincing in the end, defeating and knocking out the Centrosaurus. And booking his place in the final. Yeah, that was quite a one-sided semi-final, I was. Packy Rhinosaurus just proved too strong for Centrosaurus in the end. And Centrosaurus bows out in the semis. Right, that means we have our final three. So, let's take a look, shall we? i tell you what, this is going to be a very interesting finale. We have two alpha dinosaurs in the finale for the first time. And I would say that there's a very good chance that an alpha dinosaur might win a mini tournament for the first time ever. I could see either any of these three winning it. And we are going to be in for one hell of a finale. But yeah, that's going to end this session. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell. Make sure you don't miss out on the finale for this lightning assault tournament. And until then, this has been your host, Stranger Gamer. And he's signing out. <laughs>